What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm Marty for those of you who don't know and today I'm showing off Matt and I's new rooftop tent from Tough Stuff Overland, the Alpine 61. So yes, we finally purchased a brand new rooftop tent. We've been rocking the Body Armor two-person pike tent for quite some time now, and it's worked really well for me. Um, but now that I have my truck back, we kind of decided that a hard shell tent was definitely gonna be the best option for either one of us to use because he's got an eight inch lift and 37s on his, and I've got a six inch lift and 37 on mine. It's really tough to do the standard soft shell tents, if you wanna call them that. Um, so it's really tough to get up in there and actually set the whole tent up. Uh, it's just really high up for that. So we decided to go with the hard shell one and we decided to go with this one in particular because when we were at the Keystone Big Show uh, back in February or March, we actually saw this tent in person and blew us away. Fantastic tent, easy to open, tons of room, and it's got a great blackout feature, which I'll show you guys here in a bit. Wait for this plane to go by. Thanks, Plane. One of the best features about this tent is the fact that it can be done two different ways. And what I mean by that is, as you can see right now, it is fully open in the pop-up style. But what you can see here is it's got this Z. This actually allows this to be open two different ways, right now in the pop-up or like now in the wedge. The cool thing with the wedge is it's very easy to get up. Pretty much just pull these two levers right here slap the thing up and you're ready to get inside the tent, hang out, take a nap, whatever you need to do on the trail. But honestly, I don't know why you would ever leave it this way because all you have to do is remove those two red latches right there and pop that side up. It's super easy. So I don't understand why you would want to just leave it in a wedge. I don't know, not for me, but we bought it because we wanted the headspace throughout the whole thing. Another cool feature that you see here is the T-channel that goes all the way around the cover. This is a dual T-channel, which allows us to make it very modular. Um, and we'll actually end up mounting an awning off of this as well. But for right now, we just haven't added the awning uh, just because Matt needed this for a trip. And so that's what we got on in the time that we had. Having this T-channel also allows us to relocate the ladder wherever we want to. So as you can see right now, it's on the passenger side of the truck. Right here, it's on the back side of the truck. And now it's on the driver's side. Super easy to move this thing. I mean, let's see if I can do it one-handed here. Look at that. Now, obviously I'm not gonna leave the ladder like that before I climb up in there, but just for sakes of moving it with one hand, it's as easy as that. Another feature on the outside that I think is really impressive is the fact that they've added roof rails or the capability to have roof rails on top of this. As you can see right there, I'm sorry I'm facing directly into the sun, but we have a set of roof rails on here to be able to mount whatever we need. If you're gonna put bikes up there, if you're gonna put another cargo basket up there, whatever it is, you have the capability to add more cargo, which when it comes to overlanding, you wanna maximize as much space as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up in the tent. That way you guys can see some of the features on the inside because that's honestly some of the most impressive features that you're gonna see on this. So as you can see right now, we are in the wedge. Pretty easy, still plenty of space. Now I am gonna take my shoes off because I don't wanna be crawling around in here with my shoes on. So here it is. As you can see, plenty of room. I'm not fully laid out here, but this is still in the wedge. As you can see, I'm pretty much laid all the way down right now. A little bit of space in between here. And I still got room and not touching this. But hey, if I want to, yep. That just made it 10 times easier in here. You know, right after I opened that, I realized I took off my shoes and put them inside. This thing comes with a shoe bag. They hang on the outside of the tent so that you can put your shoes in it. Totally forgot about that. 
as you guys can see, there's tons of room in here. I mean, lots of room. Up here, I've got some storage. This has got one, two, three, four, five, six storage compartments up here. This is elastic, so you could set something above it if you needed to. Um, but the nice thing is, is whatever you put in here will most likely be able to stay in here when it's closed. On top of the storage that I have here, I have four more storage compartments. We've got this big bag right on the side here, a small bag up top, another small bag up top, and another big bag on the side. Tons of storage. That is one thing that was really lacking in my body armor tent is the fact that I really didn't have much storage. I think there was only one of these pockets, which I still have the tent, so maybe I'll compare them uh, here in the future. But I think there was only one pocket, maybe two, one on each side, but there wasn't a lot of room for storage inside there. So you ended up just kind of laying stuff on the mattress, which brings me to my next point. The mattress in here, extremely comfortable. Look at this thickness on here. Let me pull this up here. I honestly, I haven't had a chance to sleep in it. Matt has, and he was pretty impressed with how comfortable it was. So if Matt's impressed with it, I'm impressed with it. And I'm just gonna keep rolling with the cool features in here because there's a lot of them. And this one is possibly one of the better ones, but I can't show you it right now because I don't have my USB pack in here. But this right here is a switch for your LED lights. It's a USB plug, so easily used in a charging box of some sort, um, inverter, whatever you wanna call it. But that powers this LED strip in here so you can have some light because in just a second, I'm gonna show you how dark it gets in here. So this is the blackout feature. As you can tell, it is dark in here, absolutely dark. But here's the deal. It's currently three o'clock in the afternoon and it's sunny out and it's pitch black inside here. Let me just show you. This is with my flashlight on my phone. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and open this back up though because it is pretty hot and stale because there is no air movement right now and it's kind of hot outside. And before I get down and get out of here and show you guys how easy it is to close this thing up, this is also gonna come with quite a few accessories. Um, like I said, the shoe bag, it's gonna come, actually, wow, there's two shoe bags in here. Very impressed with that. Um, but it also comes with the awnings for the sides, which I am not putting out right now just because I'm gonna be putting this thing right back down. It's a lot of effort for right now. I think the main gist of this thing is just how big it is inside and how dark you can keep it inside. And I did just mention the awning, so I may as well show you. There's a spot for an awning on this side, this side, which this one stays on there permanent, and then another awning on this side, which is pretty nice because um, when you're putting your shoes on while hanging over the ladder there, if it happens to be sprinkling or raining, you're gonna want some sort of awning over the top. And last thing before we sum this video up, I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to put this thing down. That's pretty much everything I have to show you guys on this tent. I'm super excited about this purchase. This is gonna be awesome for Matt and I because we're both going on different adventures this year. He's got adventures that he's taking Booger out on, which is why it's on his truck right now. And I've got adventures planned out in Colorado in a couple months. So we're both gonna get some awesome use out of this tent and I'm super excited to use it out on the trails and just in general. Thank you guys for watching another video. Like I said, this is the Tough Stuff Alpine 61. 
probably my favorite tent on the market right now and you guys can see why. So we will catch you guys on the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you guys then.